Alright, welcome back. Continuing this. Um, like, those two losses that I had in my previous video here was just awful. Like, there's no way going around it. That was, you You, you don't want to see it. This is a toy case game, isn't it? Do struggle a bit, though. Do struggle. Um... Take what you like this this time. Right? I like Dracovish, but I think both mods they like I'm baiting in at least two Pokemons naturally. And that is well, I'm avoiding two Pokemon naturally, and that would be Mudsdale and Cinderace, I think. But Ferrophorn makes it if it's smart. Um I wish I had something. Ah, oh, this is a good team against me. Plus, Ferrophone is such a good lead as a whole. Um, I feel like this. I'm actually totally not against Golisopod here. And... Um, I guess Whimsicott makes an extent sense. Can't make up my mind. Can't make up my goddamn mind. Alright, Whimsicott it is. Um, leading off with... Um, Tokis just to get the Fire Blast onto the Ferrophorn. If he decides to leave with that. This is not a great matchup, actually. I think his team looks about the part where, um, you know, I don't naturally switch into it all that well, and it could backfire on me. Where's that kind of dress? Let's see. Cinderace. Cool. It could U-turn me, I guess that makes sense. Just gonna air slash. Or Dynamax, Max Airstream. Get that directly, I should be able to outspeed next turn, which is great. He Dynamax himself? Mad lad. So, maybe he has the electric move, right? Electro Ball, which will mean he sets its rain. I didn't think we'll see this guy. The only like merit I have is that you know once he hit me, I at least outspeed him next turn, but I think I'll lose the matchup. So I'm trying to you know decide whether or not I should try to try, try to stall him out. Does he have Electro Ball? Max Flare actually. Still should do all right. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Am I in range? Possibly. I sure as hell don't knock him out. Only one speed race, and I'm gonna go for Max God. Um, I shouldn't be able to take one other Max Flare. That's for sure. A switch in. Don't want to lose this speed race, but at the same time, Max will knock us out next turn. Ah, let's do it. It's one of those weird cases where I just hope it's a roll and I get it. No. <laughs> uh, um. All right. No, it's it's fair. At least we get this guy knocked out. But I would much rather like to behold, behold, preserve my toy kiss with a speed race. But you know what it is, what it is here. Um, just getting the lights apart, and all I do is first impression. And I basically have to hope that Fairphone is not his um, dedicated Pokemon he decided to bring. If it's Mimikyu, I think we're good. We're close combat, should be able to hurt 
at least um, right, stay soon. Um, like the way I see it, if it is Ferrathorn, um, I'm forced to close combat over and over again. I just really want to bait my um, uh, my emergency exit. Um, but if it's anything but that, you know, we are kind of in a spot here. We have the Sashin attack, which is great. But I'm feeling Hexerous and I'm also feeling Dragapult. Um, okay, cool. This is kind of bad, though. Usually these guys tend to be um, Assault Vested, so... Rock Slide, yeah, that's alright. Misses, great. Sunlight Faded, that's all you want to see. That was rough for him. Um, my plan was kind of to pipe it around this, but I um, guess that's not happening. <sighs> There's no reason going for Tailwind. Right, withdraws to Ferrathorn. Haxorus, cool. I don't know about this play, however. As since I keep my sash or my huh, he could be scarfed, I guess. He is scarfed, cool. And this should knock him out. Um, the thing is here, um, Mudsteel has Heavy Slam, usually should carry Heavy Slam, so I'm somewhat worried. Right, energy ball, whack. Oh, there we go, cool. Guess I don't have to um, overdo it now. Or I do. <laughs> That's Citra Figgyberry, cool. Right, rock slide. I'm not sure that knocks us out, actually. No? Is he locked in any way? Guess there's a possibility. Whimsy God kind of came through for all the wrong reasons, but you know, we'll take it. Cool, whack. So one more game, and then I have to go to work. So I kind of hope I get another win here because I really want to get myself to master rank. But since I have two losses behind me, I won't get that much points, which is awful. It's real bad. I won tonight. Hey, an HP up, cool. Continue battling. <sighs> you see, nothing. <laughs> um, oh, I want the battle tower. <sighs> I have two really tough losses behind me. One of them I knew I would have won, which is awful. This is a strict room team, you son of a bitch. This is awful. Um, outright Mimikyu is tough. Anybody doesn't see um, Golisopod as something to absolutely fuck his team up straight off is insane. Um, besides that, not the insane part, but rather what I do. I kind of want to abuse the Tailwind anyway, right? Togek is kind of rough. Tyranitar is okay. I guess Inteleon and whatnot, but basically it doesn't have anything for Toxtricity. Nor Dracovish.
The toxicity looks to be the, the part here, as I think it's pressure him quite a lot. Let's do this. Glissopod beats Dragapult, it beats Gudra, it possibly beats Mimikyu, it beats Reuniclus, and it beats that Rodent with close combat, that's naturally is slower than Glissopod. But the thing is with that Rodent is that once it, um, set, if it gets a Trick Room behind him, Ah, Mimikyu, nice. Like, that's the play, right? There's nothing to it. I'm gonna go for that very safe liquidation. <sighs> Mimikyu can't do anything to us, which is nice. Yeah, yeah I think it realized that too. Cool. Goes to... Dragapult, maybe? Yeah. I can get behind that play. Defense drop, no. Gonna sucker punch here. On his potential U turn. Boom, bitch! You're not the switch I was looking for. Get out of here. This is why I use Glyzopod. It's the absolute master of this division. The issue with Goliath's that makes it work is that it's so hard to switch into, naturally. However, this is a Trick Room Reuniclus, and uh, all things considered, it's going to be straining on me. Um, so, we, we max Flutter here. <laughs> As I'm going to be faster, most likely. I think Max Flutter should do a significant chunk if he decides not to Dynamax himself. As I would think a combination of uh, Trick Room together with um, Weakness Policy here would have been absolute mad lad. But I think it just going to attack me. Is whether or not I knock him out. Oh yes. Oh yes I do. I like Goliath's support so much. This was clearly the matchup for it too. It said no to any Trick Room strats. And uh, this Mimikyu is, tr is Trick Room, but uh, there is no way that's going to help him. Now, do I have anything that lowers something of importance? Racist allies attack. I was so close to doing that. That, that, that was been, would have been stupid. Um, Max Gacier, I mean, it's basically my best attack I have to... Um, he's gonna force me to go get the first impression. Play rough. No son, no son. I don't even believe you have the power to force me out. I don't gonna take my merge exit. I'm just going to eat you alive like you are. I never switched this game. This is this is some dark stuff we've seen here. <laughs> like I said, I'm not gonna deny it. Like the best part about Goliath is that teams like this with Trick Room as focus, they can't do it well enough because of Glyzopod's combined bulk. I swear if he gets a crit on me. Oh! Oh! Glyzopod standing feast! Standing tall! St it's not caring! It's feasting on the corpse of Mimikyu! There we go! Whack! Finally! I'm doing something right. Um, let's see, and that game went actually significantly faster than the previous one, so we're able to go for another game. And I think the other game could be defined whether or not I go to Master Ball rank or if I stay in the Ultra tier and force to make another video, which I don't want to do. Continue battling. Do, 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 do. Oh, so close. <laughs> but yeah, the best part of Goliath's Spot is that that matchup it works very well against it. Goliath's Spot is so slow, yet a two tops priority. And it's significantly bulky, and in a 3 vs 3 where actually it switches out itself to get you momentum if you want to. It's kinda tough. I won't say it's the best Pokemon in this format, and certainly not against another Trick Room team. Ah, oh, this is this is this is rough too, isn't it? Golisopod looks to be alright yet again, however. But we have a Will O Wisp aspect here, and um that is not right. I don't feel comfortable using Whimsicott this matchup. 
I really don't. Togekiss can work. But yeah, Glide Support yet again is probably my best response. And, uh... Like, Jellicent is tougher, isn't it? Actually... Toxtricity has to be here. Um... And then... Togekiss Glide Support, I think. Ah, oh, this is a rough matchup, isn't it? I guess we're not getting out of Master or getting to Master Rank in this video. Glyzapod is still super convenient for this matchup, but if Jelly sent this what it is, it's gonna push me back. That is a nice picture. This this is a good versus screen. You'll love to see it. If I could face this person in real life, I would say nicely done. Or shit, I'm facing you. Um there we go, Dramatitan. Did not want to see him um, switching into Goliath's pod. Um, expecting Isle Crash or Earthquake. If he goes with Flare Blitz, that's going to be incredible play for him. I don't want to sack this at least. <sighs> you turn, cool. Oh my god. Yeah, that was one of those like first turn, this is not a good matchup at all. Ferrophone, right? I'm just gonna close combat here. Um The only perk I have is like um, that emergence exit, which I hope Arm Barbs help me with. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Strat. I have no way of damaging him, so I have to bring Toe Kiss and then a Max and Max here stream directly. I think it's gonna power whip or lead seed. Knock off, cool. That's actually better. Cause I believe I force him out. I need the speed or the man that wins. He would draw us, that's the right play. To Dratitar and then it's tough. And then it's tough. Because I won't be able to win here at all. But I will be faster, which is nice, but I won't do any damage. <laughs> Question is whether I want to keep my Tokis alive now that I've burnt my Dynamax. I actually think I want to max guard. Because he should Dynamax himself. Can I burn one of his turns? That would be awesome. Because I figured he would be weakness policy, but... Um That's one turn. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go for the damage. So the weakness pod is gonna be activated, but I'm pretty sure first impression knocks him out. I'm pretty sure it will knock him out. Oh, it wasn't weakness policy. Is it assault vest maybe? Oh, we live. Didn't expect that either. Too bad it was sandstorm activated. <laughs> that I didn't expect. All right, cool. Um, Because the way I see it, like, I'm still slower than a Tyranitar if it doesn't, like, I have no significant investment in my Goliath upon, so if anything, my play is always first impression. And I hope that knocks him out. Ooh, not even close. Cool. So yeah, this was not our matchup, clearly. Um, I should have brought Whimsicott. Consider how this matchup looked, Whimsicott would have made a ton of sense. So it's unfortunate, but it's not like the end of the world or anything like that, but that's what I'm feeling right now. Um, had I done this differently, I absolutely would have felt that that would have made more sense. Because had a Tailwind uh, Whimsicott, I would have gotten, um, what do you say, um, let's see, it could be faster, but it isn't, I guess my mistake, it doesn't necessarily matter anyway, but it was to force him out of this, but yeah, we'll lose here, we'll lose 3-0 actually, but looking back at this game, uh, had I done Whimsicott Glyzabot, I would have been able to outspeed everything with close combat, and everything was weak to fighting, uh, I just didn't have a fighting type that could persistently affect these guys, so, that's my mistake, and um, you know, we got a very, very, I would say, fair loss, and we'll lose a few points, but that's alright. It makes for another video, which I definitely didn't want to make, but now I have to go to work. Uh, well, I actually want to check his team before. That was never an issue. That was never an issue. That was never an issue. Ever. Body press, not really? What up? Okay, cool. Um, curse body. So, Dracovich would have been alright. Fuck. Um, what was this? Assault vest. Cool. And uh, yeah, looks the part. Um, was this scarfed? It was scarfed, so it would have won anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the video. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it to Master Ball rank, but the matchup wasn't necessarily there. And you know, I failed to respond properly. So one more video at least, but we're getting there. So that's it, always for watching, and have a great day. Take care.